Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Tanner here and welcome to a new video here on the channel. In today's video, we are going to be discussing something a little different from what we normally do, but it's something very, very exciting that I can't wait to share with you guys. So before the video even starts, I do need to give a big shout out to Ronan Rowey on Instagram and Twitter. You can go ahead and find the link to both of those down below in the description. They also go by the handle at Buizel Cream, and that will be linked down below as well. And in today's video, we are actually going to be showcasing a lot of their art because in my opinion, their art is exactly what I would love to see for Ninjago's style going forward. I would love to see Ninjago animated and designed to be, I guess, more resembling this art style. And looking through this, it's something that I really enjoy, and I honestly think that this is some of the most impressive Ninjago fan art that I've ever seen. Of course, they do other stuff besides just specifically Ninjago, but the Ninjago stuff is what really captured my attention. So I reached out to them, and they gave me full permission to go ahead and actually use, I guess, the artwork in the video. So big shout out to them. Feel free to go ahead and follow them down below in the description and check out what they do because in general they make a lot of really good stuff and I would definitely recommend following them if you want to see some really great Ninjago fan art. I do want to showcase some of my favorite pieces that they've done while also kind of I guess uh, further emphasizing my love for this art style and why I feel like Ninjago could benefit from adapting to something like this. So the first one that I do want to showcase is well first of all they draw a lot of coal so obviously I'm really impressed with that right off the bat as Cole is my favorite ninja but here's some art of Cole with Plundar from the Upley and it just looks so good I mean this reminds me a lot of how Monkey Kid kind of looks too and I really love that art style as well so in general Ninjago really should I guess uh, consider adapting to something like this I feel like it allows for more room to breathe and Monkey Kid on Twitter has actually been getting a lot of attention just because of how stylized the actual animated series is and in my opinion it's just a lot better than what Ninjago currently is here's another piece that they did of Cole. This is from Master of the Mountain, obviously, as well, and it looks amazing. I mean, there's just so much here that I just absolutely love. Again, it's not really so much, I guess, anime style as opposed to something like what Ninjago is doing right now with alternate art styles in their show, but in my opinion, this is a whole lot better. If Ninjago could be animated like this, That'd be unbelievable. Of course, they also do some stuff for the Ninjago movie, specifically Cole, uh, but we also have a few images here of Kai and Jay and what they might look like in this art style, and they both look great as well. I really love how Kai looks, and I really love how Jay looks, not only in the face and the head, but also the entire way that the body is drawn too. In my opinion, this just leaves so much open for Ninjago. It's not as, like, Lego stylized as something like Monkey Kid is. Obviously, the Monkey Kid animated series has a little bit more, uh, to it in terms of connecting it to a Lego property, but this art style for Ninjago is just so great, and I just love it so much. Here's Jay, Kai, and Lloyd in Prime Empire with their Avatar uh, outfits, and it just looks great still. I've never admitted to Lloyd's mohawk looking good, but in this art style, it looks terrific. It looks just as great as anything else that I would expect, and it's just so, so awesome. Here's Cole in Season 9 using his RX powers, and it's just it's terrific. I honestly cannot express my love for this art style enough. I absolutely love how this looks. And uh, we have a few other images. Here's Cole with the Blades of Deliverance, presumably, and it just, it looks great. Honestly, there's not really a whole lot more I can say, despite the fact that it just looks amazing. And then one final piece that I want to look at is uh, Tournament Lloyd in some type of tunnel. Now, Lloyd looking like this, I feel like he looks great as well. Honestly, the entire Ninja Crew design like this could look amazing. From what we've seen in this video, we can see what what Kai looks like, what Jay looks like, what Cole looks like, and what Lloyd looks like. I'd really love to see more. Just in general, this art style is very, very good, and if Ninjago could actually look like this, I feel like the series would have a lot more room to grow. That's something that I've been kind of saying for years now, that Ninjago as an actual Lego, uh, I guess, entity is fine, but the actual TV show, striving away from something Lego-related, it honestly could open up a whole new world of opportunity, and I feel like this art style right here is a prime example of what Ninjago could look like, and in my opinion, what it should look like. Naturally, a lot of people will still be sticking with the original, I guess, Lego style for Ninjago, as that's been iconic for several years now, but I honestly can't get over how good this looks. And when I first saw this in my feed, I was very taken back with just how perfect this is, because this is pretty much how I imagined Ninjago should look. In terms of stylization, this is right up there with Monkey Kid, and even though the Monkey Kid series in general has gotten a lot of heat from Ninjago fans, you gotta admit that the actual animation and the art style at play here in the actual cartoon 
looks phenomenal. I can't express enough how good Monkey Kid looks, and I cannot express enough how good these look. Big shout out to Ronan Rowey, again, otherwise known as Buizel Cream on Twitter and Instagram, for letting me showcase their artwork in this video. Thank you so much for letting me do this. Your artwork is incredible, and I wish you the best of luck moving forward with your pieces. Guys, if you want to go ahead and follow them and see more of what they can do, feel free to go ahead and do so down below in the description. Again, I will link their Twitter and their Instagram. Big shout out to them. With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about this art style, and do you feel like Ninjago should be adapting to something like this? Leave all your thoughts down below, and I look forward to reading what you guys come up with. With all that being said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and check out the links down below in the description for my other forms of social media. As always, big shout out goes out to my Patreon supporters, including once again, the Marvelous Jam. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Once again, my name is Tanner Fishies, and with that, I bid you farewell. Well.